Okay, this week we're going to look at Project M. We won't have the usual trailer plates because I think it's so much nicer just to watch the the visual head out. So this has nothing to do with music, really. It's just, uh, you know, a, a pleasant break. Call it call it spring break. I don't, I don't know. Bye. Okay, well, this is going to be real short. I'm just going to show you about Project M. What I usually do, I'm going to have two things going into this. Uh, I'm going to have hydrogen, as you can see, and I'm going to have the alpha modular synth automatic music thing we did last time going into it. So when I come up to Jack, I want to check my connections real carefully, and that's because I do not want this capture going into uh, Project M's input. And I don't want AMS going into Project M's input. Uh, and it looks like I got both of those because I only want hydrogen, the drum machine, really going into Project M. And as you can see, I've got the drum machine doing that. That's that's for my taste, if your taste might vary, if, you, if you'd like the music also going into it. And then uh, basically you simply bring this up and here's Project M. If you hit the M key, it'll bring up a menu and you can see these nice cute little mushrooms here. Uh, it's running through all these presets. Um, if I hit L and if I find a preset and hit L, it, now it's locked. Whoops, it was, I thought it was. And, oh, I really like that one. I really like uh, snow milk. So I click this mushroom, and that says uh, I like it more. I really like it. I really, really, really like it. It's crafted by a psychotic deity. That, that's how great that visualization was. Or, no, it sucks. So I come back. Don't like it too much. Uh, it's a tolerable pretty good trippy eye candy and then the psychotic deity which is your favorite so you can choose these presets as you go through like oh man that one's really great find out which one it's playing uh, there's various keyboard things here you can pull that down L is going to lock it on that preset for a while uh, the other thing I can do is come up here I'm going to pull those out of the way for the presets and I can configure this and say, okay, we'll run through those presets. Notice that it's in user share project M presets. And if I wanted to, I could put only the presets I like. I could copy them from uh, that user share folder into say something under my home folder, uh, maybe six, six presets I like a lot and then change uh, the direction here. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna let you play with that. This is a very, very cool thing. I often uh, will just kind of zone out to this. Uh, not just me. Uh, me and my wife will both just kind of zone out to it. Uh, like I said, my own taste run to running the drum machine into it and letting the music uh, go over the top. But uh, let's let's give that a try and, and see what you think. I think instead of the normal end plates, you know to go to the websites, you know to uh, find the things. Let's just spend a few minutes and uh, zone on out here at the end of this video with our Project M. Otherwise, a real short one, but, but fun, and something, even though it's not necessarily with Linux music, something that I, uh, something I enjoy a lot. So uh, here you go. Have a blast. <laughs> 